Hello, everyone. Welcome to my Roto Six Pack channel. Today, I'm going to show you how to use the dumbbell or other kind of barbell or bag to train your bell step. First, let me show you how to use the dumbbell to train the bell step. First, first thing that I will show you the bad example. You can see that I shake my body forward or backward. This is not the right way. When we do the when we do the dumbbell to change the bus first pressing, we need always squeeze your core, squeeze your core, fix your body, do not forward, do not backward. Another thing that we need to fix this elbow point and the shoulder point. These two points should be fixed, do not move. And then we put it up, pull it down. When we let it down, we should always let it down slowly. Then we can, in such a way, we can always keep our dumbbell full of the full of your blood. If you have the barbell, we can also use the barbell to train the bicep. It's almost the same. Just to fix your body, fix your core. Then you can put it up, put it down, put it up, put it down. When we're done, we should always down it slowly. If you don't have barbell or you or either the dumbbell, we can use the, the bag. We can put some water. Put some bottle of water or other kind of books, something else inside of your bag, and use another sticker. Then we can build a very simple, just like a, a barbell. You can do the same thing. Okay, fix your core and put up, put it down, put it up, put it down. You can always see that you can squish your your bell step. Another good option to train the bell step is just to sit on box and then keep your elbow close to your leg. Face is two points. One is the shoulder, the other one is your elbow. Then you can pull it up, pull it down. When we let down, we should always keep it down slowly. We can do two reps each set. So another option to train the chair self that we can use a chair and uh, we just pretend that we are going to sit on a chair put your hand at the edge of the chair then let it let it down let your body down and go up Another good option to train your shoulder is to use a double dumbbell. Now let me show you. Always keep your body fixed. Do not shake and squish your core as possible as you can. Now let's pull it up.
So to China, Chelsea, I will highly recommend that we do the push up. When we do the push up, we can keep the distance between the two hands as same as your shoulder, or you can even a little bit uh, narrower, it will be more challenging. To me, it's maybe the best way to train your train your, your step. It will be also train your shoulder. <laughs> 